14 days from the time the, the fertilized female egg hatches until the queen bee emerges from her cell. After the queen bee emerges from that cell, then we have about another week before she's going to go on a mating flight. Some of that depends on the weather. And then after she's gone on a mating flight, it's going to be about another week before she starts to lay eggs. So as, uh, as we split up colonies, as we try to analyze what went wrong with our queen, we, uh, we look at a queen cell in our colony that uh, looked like there was, there's a different cell in there, and it's, and it's open on the end. What happened? If we, know what, uh, if we know the life cycle of the queen, then we'll be able to analyze when it happened. So then we'll, need, then we'll uh, have a better, uh, better luck uh, analyzing and diagnosing what's right in the colony or what's going to be right rather than have to worry about a queen that we, we maybe we need to order one right away. Who's got queens? I better get on the phone to uh, somebody that's got a queen because I'm not sure if I have one. Well, if we know the queen, the life cycle of the queen, and we can analyze correctly what's going on in there, uh, it'll help, it might save some problems, save you some money later. Okay. Will you show them the poster about recognizing eggs, like that yeah. picture? Because it might help in a minute. All right, so uh, <laughs> let, me, uh, let me show you there. Okay, so we're going to have to look, look in the hive here in a minute. We're going to look for these different things we've been talking about. Up here is an egg. It's long, it doesn't, it doesn't look like a chicken egg. It's not shaped like a, like a duck egg or something. Okay, it's long, it's skinny, it's more like the shape of a grain of rice, only smaller, about half the size. And then we go there from, from the, there to the larva stage. That larva there is a couple days old. This one's about to, about to be capped over. It's kind of a C-shape curled up in the bottom of the cell. And then we go from there to the uh, pupa stage. That's what they look like. It looks like a bee, only it's white. It's a ghost, kind of a ghost looking thing. And then the eyes start to develop. You can see those darker, and then it's about ready to emerge. Pass this around and look at that egg. That's what you're going to be looking at. That's a cross-section of the, of the comb. You can see how the cells are built out from the midrib on there. Cut open. So, so you'll have to be uh, a class course requirement. You're going to have to be able to identify eggs, or I won't sell you the egg. <laughs> so I don't want to have somebody call me up. I don't know if I have a good queen. Well, did you see eggs? Oh, uh, well, I can't really see eggs. Well, we don't need to find a queen. We're not. We're going to quit worrying about having a queen if we got a bunch of eggs in there. We know we got a queen. So, in these colonies, there's only five frames in there. So it's going to be fairly easy to find the queen bee. So, but once you've got two boxes clear full of bees, it's you know going to be a meal in haystack kind of endeavor. So we're not going to find the queen later on. We're not even going to bother looking for it. We're just going to take a frame out of the brood chamber. We're going to see larva. We're going to see capped over brood. In your hive. Right. In your hive. And we're going to uh, we're going to see uh, we're going to see eggs. And we're going to know if we got a good queen. No no sense worrying about it. So if you saw bear tracks, would there be a, a bear? Do you think there's a bear nearby? All right, we're going to look for queen tracks. That's how we do it most of the time. I want you to see the queen. We're going to look for her. Anyway. She should be easy. Uh, the last class, everybody had and just insisted on seeing that queen. Nobody was satisfied. They wouldn't take their bees home until they said, I've got to know that, that there's a queen in there. I've got to see her. Okay. That's what we're here for. That's why we're having this thing. Instead of just having you pick up your nuke and send you home, that's what we're doing. So what I'm just telling you for the future, it might save you a lot of time. People spend too much time looking all the frames for the queen. I don't know if i got a queen until I see her. We'll see evidence of the queen when we know she's there. All right, so there's, we'll teach you too though, there's, just because you see eggs doesn't mean it's a queen. If there's multiple eggs in a cell, sometimes you can get a laying worker. But it's, they look a little different, you know, we'll, we'll talk about that.